Okay, now we start uh, the technical session. We discuss uh, what uh, happened in the project, different tasks. I give the floor to Flavio De Mestrangelo to explain, uh, to introduce the session and uh, to give the floor to the other uh, participant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. First time with the, this kind of microphone, so sorry in advance. Uh, first of all, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here today, both live and online participant. I am Flavio De Mestrangelo, and I'm Institutional Affairs Specialist at Boden and Project Manager for the Italy project. Um, today, I'm going to show you just a quick overview and a general highlights on uh, the Italy project before then leaving the floor to my colleague Davide and also the other partners involved, both live and online, to have a more uh, specific overview on each areas and uh, the project itself, of course. So the, the first question is, what is the Italy project? Um, we can say, for start, I'll try to change. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I told you, okay, sorry. Okay, right chart. So the, um, first of all, the Italy project aims, uh, it's one, I have one scope, it's to demonstrate both environmental and economic benefits in implementing uh, technology such as, for example, waste heat recovery system or energy efficiency solution. And um, at the same time, um, this kind of technology are more useful when we talk about, for example, large heat pump or in energy intensive industries or gas expander in a gas distribution network. And um, by testing this kind of technology at a real scale, it's also useful because they allow us to demonstrate not only the benefits and the results, but also try to boost this kind of solution at wider scale. And we think it's really important that occasions like that are uh, the right place for, for, it, for that. And uh, it's also really important, sorry again, to mention that the Italy project is uh, funded under the LIFE program. The LIFE program is the EU funding instrument for climate and environmental um, action and uh, received an overall budget of 2.5 million euros ish uh, in, uh, in EU funding, uh, with a total eligible budget or almost 4.5 million euros. And um, as you can, as you can see from the slide, the project started in 2020, and now it's set to be concluded and it's approaching the final stage uh, by August this year. But uh, it leap is, uh, is more than that, it's quite, quite a lot. Um, we can say that it was, it was quite a ride the last couple of years. We experienced a lot of challenges along the way. We started with the COVID-19 and then the energy crisis with energy prices skyrocketing. And the last one is uh, the, the Russia aggression of Ukraine. So um, all the sector uh, was very uh, hit by these challenges. And we are experiencing also right now um, difficulties and uh, but we can um, we think that we can figure out we we found out where how figure it out and how to overcome and for example the latest Russia aggression for example show us once again the importance to reduce our dependency on fossil fuels and the boost uh, energy efficiency solution that we believe uh, uh, we all know right now that are the real key to embrace the right path toward decarbonization. Uh, I like the next chart very much is, uh, is a blank chart, of course, but that shown us uh, where we started and uh, where we are now. So it's, uh, it was a lot of challenges. We love challenges. We, in, sorry, in Turboden, we love challenges indeed, but it, also pretty much satisfying to see how far we came in the last three years. And uh, I wanted to show you, share with you this uh, um, great result. It's a team effort, of course, but it's uh, really important to see um, the results achieved. So 
Now let's move quickly into the project highlights. As you can see, there are four main pillars and another one that embraces them all. Uh, the first one is, uh, as, you, as you see on the left, uh, an innovative large jet pump. It's a six megawatt thermal large jet pump that is capable to supply uh, the district heating in the city of Brescia uh, with a temperature up to 120 degrees and a COP that is coefficient of performances ranging from five to eight. And um, we can see later on with my colleague more details on that. Uh, the second pillar is the, the gas expander is also an, another very interesting technology that is uh, able to exploit uh, the gas, uh, natural gas, the compression of natural gas into the grid and to generate electrical power in a range uh, less than one megawatt electric. Um, then we have uh, the, the third pillar that consists in a monitoring system. It's uh, uh, another very useful tool that is in able to not only collect data, but also show at real scale at real time the concrete uh, reduction in uh, carbon emission, for example, or um, air pollution or greenhouse gas emission. So it's really important because also allow us to um, create a proper environment to, to expand this kind of technology at, um, in the sector and weather scale. And then the fourth area focus on um, another tool, a very interesting one, new business re model replication tool that um, collecting data allow us to overcome existing barriers in uh, implementing wasted uh, recovery solution in particular in energy intensive industries. And uh, uh, like the previous one, um, these, are, um, th these are very useful to, to uh, create uh, an environmental where we can transmit uh, the technology maturity and um, improve the deployment of such a technologies also in uh, sites, in replication site, in, in, uh, in environment that fit best for this kind of solution. Um, I move quickly on that because there will be an ad hoc overview on each areas right after our intervention. And then as you can see, last but not least, um, the, we have a continuative communication and dissemination activities. Uh, we are hosted today by Cogen Europe that is in charge of these activities, but this final event is actually just the last one of an entire um, several numbers of activities that are conceived in order to um, advocate for policy implementation at the EU level. And um, this final event is very important also because it allows us to communicate the technology maturity, results and achievement uh, of um, Italy project in particular this time, but also for the entire sector and uh, energy efficiency solution. And uh, last one, last chart from my side, uh, let's meet uh, the, the project team. Uh, I will make a, a general introduction, but I will also take the chance to thank all the partners involved for the great effort and support for the last for the last three years. Uh, every results achieved are, of course, a team effort. So thank you in advance. We have Turboden represented by us today, that is solution provider, project coordinator for Italy project, and also in charge for developing and designing large heat pumps and uh, large heat pump and gas expander. Then we have Ori Martin, that is uh, a leading European supplier of high quality steel and also really important one of the utilizer of waste heat recovery system but also one of the early adopter of waste heat recovery solution so we we see later on uh, in details that and then we have Cogen Europe as mentioned the our host today that is in charge for communication and dissemination activities and then the European Associ Association for cogeneration and promoting waste heat um, then we have uh, RINA Engineering and Consultancy that is in charge, as I mentioned before, for the replication model, replication tool, and real-time monitoring system. And, uh, and then we have GSMT that is in charge for 
technological research, dissemination and networking activities. And uh, last but not least, I would like to mention also Adwea. Uh, it's an Italian um, utility and uh, we is the, the partner involved for the utilize, as utilizer for the gas expander, also the owner of the district heating system in Brescia that experienced the implementation of the large pump that we will see in a minute. So um, I think it's all from my side. Thank you very much for your attention. Now I leave the floor to my colleague Davide Rizzi for a better understanding of the technical aspects of the Italy project. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.